Hello, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are uh, today. Uh, I'm Ralph DeFranco, and I'm professor of medicine and head of the diabetes division at UT Health here in San Antonio. Uh, and I also am the deputy director of the Texas Diabetes uh, Institute. So I wear a number of hats, keeps me busy during the day. I've been interested in diabetes for many, many years. Uh, I completed my fellowship training in 1975, and at that time launched my career, uh, started at Yale, uh, looking at what caused diabetes in the hopes of uh, coming up with better medications to treat the diabetic patient. Uh, I moved to San Antonio here at uh, UT Health uh, in uh, 1988. So you can see I've had over 45 years of experience doing clinical research. And what I've tried to do is to, to focus on what are the basic mechanisms that what causes type two diabetes, okay? Because I've been a firm believer, if you understand what causes a disease, you'll be able to come up with a treatment. And a big problem was what we call insulin resistance. Their body doesn't respond to insulin normally. So when you eat a meal, your beta cells, your pancreas release insulin. And that insulin then circulates in the bloodstream and it goes to the cell and it unlocks the cell, so to speak, and it allows the glucose to flux into the cell. And that glucose is the key energy depriving source for all cells in the human body, okay? So it turns out the ability of insulin to turn that lock is not so good in the diabetic. So the glucose doesn't get into the cells and your blood sugar level goes up. And when your blood sugar level goes up, that's what causes the blindness. That's what causes the kidney failure. That's what causes the nerve uh, damage. Um, and, you know, when we first put forward this hypothesis, of course, it was met with a, a lot of disbelief. Uh, but over the years, we developed uh, new techniques and unequivocally showed that insulin resistance is a major, major problem in our diabetic patients. And now, of course, everybody understands and accepts it, but you know, it took 20 years to convince people. Now, the problem with insulin resistance is this puts a stress on your beta cells. And your beta cells are the cells that secrete insulin that turn that lock to let the glucose in. Well, you know, if your beta cells are continuously overworking to overcome that insulin resistance, they get tired with time uh, and they get exhausted. And now as your insulin level drops, your diabetes gets worse. So what became very clear to us is that we needed to develop drugs that would improve how your body responds to insulin. Uh, and we also need to develop drugs that uh, work on your beta cells to save your, your beta cells. And so we've spent an enormous amount of time uh, not only defining what causes diabetes, but developing drugs that will help the diabetic. And I'm also board certified in nephrology. And during my kidney training, I worked with a molecule called fluorazine. Now, fluorazine comes from the bark of the apple trees when the apple trees uh, blossom in the spring. And it turns out that fluorazine in the kidney blocks reabsorption of glucose. So it dawned upon me a very simple way to treat the diabetic was to give them fluorazine. And that would block glucose uh, reabsorption in the kidney, and the individual would then just excrete the glucose in the urine. And then working with Bristol-Myers Squibb and eventually AstraZeneca, uh, we were able to bring the first drug uh, to the market, uh, which is an SGLT2 inhibitor called dapagliflozin. Now, I knew at that time the drug was very effective in lowering glucose, I also hypothesized that it would protect your kidneys, and in fact, we now know that it uh, will. But what I didn't realize, and what's been shown in the last five to six years, is that this class of drugs, the SGLT2 inhibitor uh, class of drugs, also very effective in preventing heart failure and protecting people uh, against uh, having uh, heart attacks. So now we have really a, a quite wonderful drug that lowers your glucose, and will protect your eyes. It also protects your kidneys and also protects your heart. So this is sort of kind of a, a three for one drug in the treatment of diabetes.